Cylinders can do anything. This series is designed to provide you ideas to spur your imagination. Hi, my name is Douglas and I am a proud employee at Milwaukee Cylinder. Let's review a unique offering by Milwaukee Cylinder, end of stroke mechanical locking cylinders. Let's say you have an application where you want the rod to stay locked at its end of stroke. Here is a scenario. Say you have a cylinder operating a gate valve and you want the gate valve to remain locked in the open position. Using a normal cylinder, to open the gate valve, the operator turns on the pump and positions the directional control valve to open the gate valve. When the gate valve is open, the operator positions the directional control valve to the center position and shuts off the pump. If the directional control valve leaks, the oil pressure will drop and the valve will drift down. Not ideal. Now let's see the same scenario using an end-of-stroke mechanical locking cylinder. Here, a locking mechanism is used on the blind end of the cylinder. To open the gate valve, the operator turns on the pump and positions the directional control valve to open the gate valve. In this case, when the rod reaches the end of stroke, it automatically locks the rod, keeping the gate valve in the open position. Now, even if all hydraulic pressure is lost, the cylinder will hold the gate valve in the open position. To close the valve, the operator simply applies hydraulics to close the gate valve, just like would be done with the standard cylinder, and the locking mechanism will automatically disengage. No special piping or operations are required. Let's explore the product. The end of stroke mechanical locking cylinder is an option for the Milwaukee Cylinder LH and A product lines, and the locking mechanism is available on the cylinder's rod end, blind end, or both ends. Okay, let's now look at how the end of stroke mechanical locking mechanism works. We'll first focus on the rod end locking mechanism, then we will show a cylinder working with a rod lock on both ends. The rod end locking mechanism consists of a specially grooved rod, a sleeve with positioning holes to hold ball bearings and limit their movement to basically up and down, hardened ball bearings that engage the grooved rod, a locking piston that locks the ball bearings into the groove, preventing the rod from moving, and a spring that positions the locking piston over the ball bearings. Let's see how these components work together. We'll start off with the locking mechanism in the lock condition. Notice how the ball bearings are in the rod groove and the locking piston is over the ball bearings, preventing the ball bearings from leaving the groove, thus locking the rod in the extended position. To unlock, hydraulics are applied to the rod end like any normal cylinder. The hydraulics first move the locking piston off the ball bearings, allowing the ball bearings to move out of the groove unlocking the rod. Hydraulics then moves the rod, moving the groove from under the ball bearings. Once hydraulics are removed, the locking piston moves back, positioned to move the ball bearings into the groove for the next locking sequence. This action is automatic. To lock, hydraulics are applied to the blind end to move the rod forward. Once the rod reaches the end of stroke, the groove is positioned under the ball bearings. The spring pushes the locking piston, forcing the ball bearings into the groove. Once the ball bearings are in the groove, the locking piston moves over the ball bearings and prevents the ball bearings from coming out, locking the rod. The rod will now stay locked in the extended position indefinitely with no holding hydraulics required. This action is automatic. Now let's watch a cylinder with locking mechanisms on both sides. This depiction starts with the cylinder locked in the retracted position. Hydraulics are applied to the blind end. The blind end locking mechanism unlocks and the rod extends. Once the rod reaches the end of stroke, the rod now locks in the extended position. The rod will stay locked in the extended position indefinitely, even with no hydraulics applied. To unlock, hydraulics are applied to the rod end. The locking mechanism unlocks and the rod moves to the blind end. Once the rod reaches the end of stroke, the rod now locks in the retracted position. Let's watch this sequence one more time. Hopefully this example spurs your imagination. 
cylinders can do anything, contact us for your application support needs. And remember, here at Milwaukee Cylinder, specials are our standard.